Hey guys, I'm Rachel. This is Klaus. This is Christian. This is Luna. And together we're Bratwilers. Bratwilers. Brother, are you with me? Oh, let's go. <sighs> okay, so today we're going to be talking about my experience, our experience, rescuing a male Rottweiler. And maybe this will be good for your family even if it's not a Rottweiler, just any dog. So this is just our experience and how how we went about it and the amazing dog that we got out of it, right? So we decided to rescue a male Rottweiler when Luna was just one years old. She was very hyperactive as a puppy and we wanted another dog to keep her company. I started looking at a local Rottweiler rescue and the second I saw Klaus's face, I knew he was the one. He was estimated at around two years old and is probably about six years old now. I filled out the application immediately and the Rottweiler rescue um, had me go to the, the, foster, the, the foster dad's home to meet Klaus. I had the boys with me. I had Luna with me. The meeting between myself and the boys was incredible. It was love at first sight, right? Thank you. Yes. That's right. It was love at first sight. The, the meeting between Luna and Klaus did not go so well. They actually told us that they didn't think that Klaus was a right fit for our family. I was pretty persistent in having a second chance with that. They agreed only if their trainer could be present and I was very happy with that. I said, absolutely. The second introduction, it went great. It went, it went fantastic. And they said, okay, you know what? This went great. You can have a seven day trial period with Klaus in your home. We were ecstatic at that. So Klaus comes home. We have a seven day trial. Klaus gets here. I mean, he's like loving on the kids. Him and Luna are playing and getting along. He peed everywhere, marking everything. It was like he was home. I sent pictures and videos updating the rescue. Honestly, it was like all day long. I was like, I couldn't take enough pictures and videos because he was doing so amazing here. He was so happy to be here. He was just, he was thriving, he was playing. He just he had this like, this, the happy face. On day seven, the Rottweiler rescue uh, and I spoke. And she said, congratulations, he's home and yours. And told me that on day two of our trial period, she knew that Klaus was going to be here. She knew that he was going to stay. So on day three, she sent all of his papers to me. So four days before she told me, yes, she had already sent his papers to me. He was ours. It, it was that fast. I mean, it was, it was very quick. Just peak. That's right. We renamed Klaus to Klaus. That was not his name. He had a name in the rescue with the foster dad and then he had his name that he was given when he was born with his original family. We did find out that before rescuing him, he was in a kill shelter. He was gonna be euthanized and they said he was aggressive. Now, they only said he was aggressive because when they picked him up, by a animal control picked him up, they put the like noose thing around his neck and he got aggressive. Sounds like Anybody's going to get aggressive with that. This boy does not have a mean bone in his body. Literally the sweetest thing on the planet. So the fact that they labeled him aggressive it still kind of upsets me that they that he could have been euthanized had the rescue not got him just in time. They literally got him within a day or two of him being euthanized, which is tragic to even think of. I'm so happy that our local Rottweiler rescue stepped in and rescued him just in time and got him out. It's made the last four years of our lives here complete, our family complete. They've had a lot of training. Now Klaus and Luna have both had a lot of training. We have trained them together. We've trained them separately. The trainer that we used was the trainer that the Rottweiler Rescue had recommended. Um, that's the one that they use. And they are both amazing. Um, but like I said, training has been involved. 
we are constantly training our dogs. Christian and Kellen, my boys, they are, they train them. We work with training almost every day just to ensure that the dogs know that, you know, we're alpha, but there's so much love too, but the dogs know that we're alpha. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Like I said, I will try to answer back. As, I will answer as honestly as I can regarding rescues. I am not a professional in any way, but this is our experience. Please do your homework, do your research. If rescue is right for you, then do it, please, because it, it's made our lives amazing. So thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.